morning, Commissioners. Good morning. I come to you today as an extremely frustrated department head. I will not be providing my normally weekly report as I feel that this report is irrelevant today. As you are well aware, the Carroll County Department of Corrections had an escape last Thursday from the main recreation yard. As of now, Mr. Hobson has been captured, returned to our facility where he, where he will await disposition on his original cases and now escape. <clears throat> when will this county realize that failure to address the security needs of the correctional facility amounts to nothing less than gross negligence. This county has had recommendations from sub subject matter experts before the facility was built as to the needs of the facility. I cite the sections in the operational and architectural program drafted in August of 2001, where a study committee recommended that the yards be, yards be closed. First, it stressed the importance of a secure perimeter, that the perimeter should be used as a last resort to slow down escapes. They recommended to enclose a portion of the outside recreation yard to uh, accommodate for recreation exercise during inclement weather. There in the committee suggested that the building itself should provide the boundaries for outdoor exercise, uh, outdoor recreation yard. It should provide the boundaries for it. They also made the recommendation that the yard was, if the yard was fenced, they suggested that grill work or the fencing to be designed for unauthorized persons from observing or throwing contraband into the yards. The study committee also made the recommendations for the number of staff to effectively and efficiently operate that facility. They recommended that 36 officers, um, they recommended 36 security officers and stated that this would amount not to a bare bones staff, nor would it allow for overabundance of staff. Presently, the Carroll County Department of Corrections employs 29 full-time correctional officers, seven short of the recommended number. I have the drawing submitted by SMRT dated April 2002 prior to the groundbreaking showing the exercise yards fully enclosed as suggested by the study committee. The design was changed to make need an approved budget. In 2010, some nine years later, a separate study was conducted by the National Institute of Corrections. Mr. John Elise did not view this report prior to making his conclusions. Three items remain consistent with the study conducted in 2001. The yards need to be covered, the lack of a secure perimeter, and the amount of staff was questionable. I conducted a staffing analysis and assistance with the, uh, of another superintendent from the state and based on the drawings and the required um, of the various posts, conclusions was made between 36 and 39 officers were needed, consistent with the 2001 study. As of now, we have had contraband introduced to the facility via recreation yards and a successful escape. It is time for this county to look at the facts submitted by the experts who make these recommendations to the counties across this, this state and the country and to make sound decisions based on those facts. Failure to do so amounts to gross negligence. I want to address the comments made by this body in the delegation. During 2011, the budget, uh, during the 2011 budget, the department was labeled inefficient without facts to support it. There was a quote from this delegation that this county does not, nor will not, follow correctional standards. Standards are what sound policies are based on, and failing to follow these standards will amount to successful lawsuits, costing the taxpayers more money. Further, this body has quoted that based on my requested equipment, it appears that we're preparing for a riot. Less than one month after this comment, we had a major incident at this facility. It's embarrassing to me and my staff that my staff, who initially began chasing Mr. Hobson, could not communicate with responding deputies and local law enforcement. The recommendation from this body and members of my subcommittee was for us to have cell phones, not proper radio equipment, to communicate with dispatch and responding agencies who may be responding to an emergency while the staff is outside the facility conducting inmate transports. Imagine for a moment that you're chasing someone through a rural or urban area and you must dial on a cell phone excuse me, to communicate with a dispatch center. It's unrealistic of the constraints that are put on my department to save money. For those individuals who feel that the needs are not required because we do not hold dangerous or violent offenders, I submit to you that uh, the inmates sentenced to state and federal prisons began serving their time in county correction facilities. We have had our fair share of violent offenders as described in RSA 651-5. What I'm asking for is to ensure that the appropriate funds are provided to this facility so we can meet our obligation to ensure efficient and effective operations as outlined in the statutes. We owe it to the communities within this county 
that our correctional facility operates in a safe and secure manner in order to protect the public. Failure to do so is not an option and this board needs to recognize that. Due to the county's failure to meet its obligations, we have tied up numerous state, county, and federal resources, not only from New Hampshire, but from Maine, in order to capture our escapee. In closing, I want to thank the numerous officers of all the agencies who are involved in their, and participated in the search, capture, and the safe return of Mr. Hobson to that facility. I also want to thank the, the uh, Ossipee House of Pizza and McDonald's for, to provide food uh, to the responding uh, officers. At this point in time, I'm not going to take any questions. I have to attend a press conference in Alfred, Maine. Any questions, I will request in writing, and I will get to them in, in a timely manner. Um, I would suggest that you get an RFP uh, for what it would cost to enclose the exercise yards with something overhead. Yep. And have that ready for delegation, if at all possible, okay. especially to the subcommittee. And you can send that to the subcommittee chairman. Yep. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay. All Thank right. you. Thank you.